What's up guys, it's your boy Ray here, welcome back to another video. So this gameplay you're watching was originally a live commentary, unfortunately the audio got corrupted, check me get this dude right here, boom there we go. But unfortunately the audio got corrupted so you guys won't be able to hear my live commentary, but while doing the live commentary, the name of the game by the way is called Insurgency, but while doing the live commentary, I brought up the subject in the live commentary, which you guys won't be able to hear, but now you'll be able to hear because I made a video of it, of course as you're watching right now. So that subject is, do you really need a gaming mouse? And to sum it up very quickly and very short, you know, timing, if your main primary thing for your PC, okay, if you're primarily just going to be doing editing with a tiny little bit of gaming on the side, I wouldn't suggest it, no. If your main primary for your PC is gaming, of course you're going to want a gaming mouse. Pretty simple. Now, a lot of people would probably then say, well, Ray, you do a lot of editing on your PC, and you don't really do a lot of gaming. You game, well, I game like probably once a month on the PC, okay? And a lot of people would probably, well, then like, why'd you get a gaming mouse? Well, it was pretty simple. I have a choice between an unbranded $10 mouse or a mouse that is a gaming mouse that comes with DPI. And the number one thing people kept telling me was, get a mouse with DPI, get a mouse with DPI, get a mouse with DPI. Then when I actually found the mouse, and I showed people, they're like, that's a shit-looking mouse, that's a shit-looking mouse. I'm like, dude, okay, look, it's a mouse, right? Yeah. It has 5,500 DPI, right? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's, that's it. I don't really need any extra features. I mean, it comes with two extra uh, buttons on the left-hand side, which can be helpful if you want to crouch or something like that. Uh, they're not programmable in something like an application or whatever, so you have to go under the key bindings of the game and manually set them. And the double-click uh, button next to the mouse one stops working if you alt-tab out of the game and go back in. Me, personally, I don't really care about that. I don't use that that much, okay? All I really cared about was a mouse with DPI, to put it simply. And it does glow if you're into the whole glowing thing and want something that glows. However... I have found that when I turn my PC completely off, this thing stays glowing like the PC is on, which doesn't make any sense because it should go off, like the, it should stop flashing when I turn it off, you know what I mean? But, overall, if you're just going to be doing some editing with like a little bit of gaming on the side, I would not recommend it. If you game three days out of a week, you probably might want to get a gaming mouse. However, I would set that below $20. If you're a person who mainly primary games on PC primarily, I don't know why I can't say primarily, I say primary. If you're a person who mainly primarily games on PC, I would say get a gaming mouse and, you know, the price range with that is up to you. But if you're a person who mainly is going to be doing editing with a little bit of gaming on the side, I would say get a gaming mouse under $20. Don't spend more than $20, $25 at most on a gaming mouse, okay? So, the question arose, why did you get a gaming mouse? Simply, my other mouse was messing up, so it's either, like I said, go with an unbranded one or go with this, and I'd rather go with this with DPI. There you go, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. So before I go ahead and end this video real quick, I thought I'd tell you guys what Insurgency is, the game that you're watching in the background. It's currently part of the Steam Modem sale, $5. Skyrim's also $5 there if you want to do that as well. But to essentially explain this game to you, it's a really, to explain it to the Call of Duty type people, it's a really hardcore Call of Duty. Think of it like that okay so it's a first person fps when you shoot people in the game you get no hit markers indicating you have hit them okay and there's no points that pop up when you get killed as you're about to see right here there's a dude that pops around that door to a little bit of the right of the gameplay right now he'll pop around and i'll go ahead and kill him and you'll see i get no points and i get no hit markers indicating i got the kill but i did get the kill because i checked and made sure now, the game is very, I wouldn't say it's 100% team orient, orientated based because I have been able to, you know, play some games where we have one without having microphones, but the game is overall a lot of fun. I really enjoy it and really like how the game plays, but if you're into Insurgency, you can go ahead and pick it up on Steam for $5. That ends December 1st, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll check you guys next time. Peace.